Well, we are still unbeaten in the league and still very much atop of it. Two very important games today, including an away fixture at recently relegated Wolves. I think after these two games, we'll have an idea of where we're going to finish at the end of the season. How's it going? Welcome back to some more Football Manager 2024 and another part of non-league to Champions League with South Shields. Today we have two matches in the league, one against Bristol City and one against recently relegated Wolves as we look to continue our unbelievable start to the season. Since you were last with me, we are still very much unbeaten. We're still playing very, very well. Um, we beat AFC Wimbledon 5-1. Ronan Cromie, um, Toklamati, uh, Minty and Aaron Ramsey scoring, as well as a Ben Greenwood own goal. We then beat uh, Preston 3-1 with uh, Jamal Gonzaga scoring two and Ronan Cromie scoring the other one there. We then came from 2-0 uh, and 4-1 down to QPR to be or draw with them 4-4. Sam Raksaki, Brody Hughes, uh, Junior Chamadeu and uh, Mully on the score sheet there. Uh, then we bounced back with two consecutive clean sheet victories. Birmingham City 1-0 with a Toklamati 92nd minute goal. And uh, then we beat Wickham Wanderers 2-0 with uh, Mike Naroki and Roland Cromie on the score sheet. Now, I have to say, Roland Cromie has been the highlight player of the season so far for us. He's played incredibly well in that Segundo Volante position and uh, has scored four goals and got an assist in nine appearances so far, considering... I really wasn't planning on using him that much. I actually listed him for loan. He has played brilliantly and hopefully he will keep that going as we head through the season. In terms of where we are in the championship, we're currently top of the table. 28 points from 12 games. We're three points clear of second place uh, Bournemouth. Five points clear of third place Derby. And a massive nine points clear of Sheffield United in terms of uh, playoffs. We've got two of the best three uh, players in the division. Dingra and Chamadeu are up there. Uh, Luke Southwood, though, um, the Carlisle goalkeeper, he is having a great start to the season. 7.5 average rating for him. Uh, in terms of assists, Adingra is top of the table with eight and uh, Sam Johnston has the second most clean sheets. We've really got off to a good start. We just need to keep it going, try and uh, build up as many points as we can because we know at some point uh, the, the bad form will come. Top goal scorer for us this season is uh, Gonzaga with five and then four each for Cromie, Wheatley and Naroki. Top assists is eight for Adingra, Minty is on four and three for Chamadeu and top average rating is Chamadeu with a 7.40 as well as uh, Simon Adingra there. Right, let's have a little look at the team for today then against Bristol City who are languishing down in 16th place and the classic um, I, I, I've played uh, quite up up to the match um, then we've quit and had a break from the game so it'll surely change our form but hopefully we'll manage to get through with these players Sam Johnston in goal with Chamadeo, Naroki, Hughes and Target in defence then Cromie and Raksaki in defensive midfield with Minty, Gonzaga and Aaron Ramsey stand behind uh, Idan Toklamati up top. And he has been pretty good. Um, he's obviously come in as a bit of a um, backup option for Ethan Wheatley, but has played pretty well in the matches he's contributed in so far. And I think it's good to keep uh, Ethan Wheatley on his toes as well. And uh, fingers crossed we can come out with a, a good result against Bristol City. They are mid-table. Um, obviously, the, the game against Wolves is incredibly challenging and you can o could have almost guaranteed that they would have won um, had that been the, the first game of the episode. But hopefully we can build up our momentum again with a good victory here. Um, yeah, it, as I say, it's not going to be the easiest match against Bristol City when you come back from um, a long play session and good form you know it always takes a little while for the team to 
to get used to it again. But uh, hopefully we can continue that good form. Here's uh, Pring on the ball. Now gets it to Kent. Pring forward. And there's Gabe. 1-0. There you go. Oli Gabe makes it 1-0. Although he is offside. So that is disallowed. And that is a big moment for us. We're going to go attacking now to try and uh, turn this game on its head a little bit and try and take a little bit of it, uh, the front foot, take the bull by the horns. Uh, looks like Ronan Cromie suffered a bruised foot, which is a pity. Here's uh, Minty on the ball on the right-hand side. He's bombing down the right-hand side. Gets it back to Chamadeu now, who gets it into uh, Gonzaga. And there's a uh, target with the shot. Unlucky. Should have really been 1-0 there, you feel. We were in a good place. We'll encourage them again just before half-time. Chamadeu gets it to Gonzaga now. Gonzaga to Chamadeu. Here comes Naroki, who's just signed a new five-year contract. Chromie gets it to Gonzaga. Naroki again. Naroki still going. Passes it all the way back to Johnston. Finds a Brody Hughes. What's he going to do with it? Gets it forward to target. Brody Hughes again. Hughes gets it to Ramsey. Ramsey back to Hughes. Hughes forward to target. Target now down the left-hand side. He has Ramsey. He's playing as a winger today. Matt Target. Is that a pen -o? No, it's not. It's a great tackle, actually, but target straight back up. Gets it to Gonzaga. All the way back to Naroki now. Naroki forward to Chamadeu. He has Minty with a great chance. Minty with the shot and he scores. Excellent goal for him. Third goal of the season for Minty, who is really coming of age in this South Shields team. Uh, struggled at the start of the season, but has definitely uh, grown into it recently. And that was a lovely turn and a first-time shot. Excellent goal. Makes it 1-0 just before the halftime whistle. And uh, definitely gives us something to shout about going into the second half. So, uh, let's say things are going well, but we're capable of even better. I think um, it's probably a good idea to bring off Chromie. Um, although he is having a good game, so I think we need to, to keep him on. Aaron Ramsey is going to come off. We're going to put Simon Adingra on up top. And we are going to bring on Ethan Wheatley at halftime as well and see if he can make an impact on this second half. We're going to continue to be attacking. We we certainly should be the better team here, and uh, I think could go and get a couple more goals at the very least to try and uh, make the most of that. Here's Target with the corner. I think that's Minty that's come up to join him. Minty on the ball. Cuts inside now. He's going to go alone here. Minty with the shot, and it's a good save from the goalkeeper that that would have been an incredible goal had he managed to pull that off unfortunately didn't and here's target with the resultant corner he whips it in a dingra there with the header and it's a good save from nick hudson but we're now at 65 minutes and it, this is the the really tricky part of the match where some of you would be screaming out to go defensive, but I, I think attack is our best form of defence here. Here's Gonzaga, gets it forward to a Dingra, and oh, that should have been 2 0. And it, it just feels like we've missed some clear cut chances here. Perhaps it's not meant to be, but certainly as we go into the last 10 minutes, I think we will be making some changes. Uh, Raksaki is going to come off. We're going to put on Will Hughes. We'll swap them two round. Um, Gonzaga's not in the best condition but we don't really have anybody to go on in his place unless we do go defensive and maybe try five at the back and put on uh, Harry Suter yeah maybe we'll go for that then that looks fine to me okay then 75 minutes gone yeah, good interception from Minty. We can still hit them on the counter-attack here. Minty on the ball, gets it out wide to Adingra. Wheatley's going to be waiting in the middle here. Adingra back to Brody Hughes, who's pushing forward. It's Brody Hughes with the shot, and that's over the bar. I don't really know why he was so far forward, but he was. There's nothing we can, uh, we can do about that. 
Yeah, he's got some attack and mind in him. Right. Um, what do we do? I think we're going to move Brody Hughes out onto the left and bring on Henry Fieldson because Matt Target is struggling a little bit with fitness. And hopefully Brody Hughes is, is okay in that, that place. We've got three minutes of added time to hold on here. And it looks like we are going to do, do that. That is a very big three points. We weren't at our best today, but managed to get over the line and keep this streak going. I think that is 16 unbeaten in the league now, which is crazy absolutely crazy minty was man of the match which is great to see he's uh, played well this season so far and our training facilities have been upgraded so we've now got good training facilities average use facilities um and of course we've got our uh, exceptional academy coaching and good youth recruitment so we are in a good place um for all of this we've got our sir robert briggs arena opening at the end of the season 12,000 uh, capacity, which is going to be massive for the, the club. You know, it's going to more than double um, our capacity and, and give us a lot more income, which is fantastic. Obviously, we want to try and expand it even more, um, you know, once we get up to the Premier League and get that Wonga in there. That should really help us take this club to the next level. But uh, we've got to get there first. So got to take on Wolves and get a result there. OK, just a couple of changes for this match then. We've brought in Simon Adingra on the left-hand side. Aaron Ramsey moves into the middle and Ethan Wheatley starts up top. So let's get into it. Um, I do want to give Aaron Ramsey some chances this year. Uh, you know, Gonzaga has been incredible um, since he joined, but we, we do need Aaron Ramsey playing as well as he was last season as well. So we're going to give him a go today. Um, very interesting looking at this Wolf side. You've got the likes of Enketia Barnes, Neto still kicking at, uh, at Wolves as well. So, you know, they've got some really decent players in this team and they're currently fourth in the league. They're going to be really dangerous opponents. And um, if we were to get a positive result today... That would be absolutely massive. There's the header over the bar it goes, but uh, certainly Wolves looking bright early on here. Here's Johnston now building from the back. This is what we're very comfortable doing. Cromie finds no Rocky. Here's Hughes. Hughes with an excellent uh, search and ball, but Adingra wasn't quite on the same wavelength. But um, Cromie comes in and gets it back. Good start for him in this match. Chamadeu uh, gets it to Cromie now. Cromie on the ball. This is an excellent run. Gets it forward to Wheatley. Here's Aaron Ramsey. Aaron Ramsey with an early chance. Back to Minty. Minty into the middle and there's a Dingra and he scores. And that was a lovely, lovely move. And that's exactly what I mean. You know, building from the back, finding those passes. We're very, very comfortable with that. And Ronan Cromie big part of that uh, that build-up play and I thought Aaron Ramsey might go himself he didn't Minty didn't go himself either he got it forward towards um, Adingra who sticks it into the back of the net and it's 1-0 here's Matt Target with the free kick boots it in towards Naroki hits the bar wow if that was a couple of inches lower that would have been 2-0 and that would have been massive for us but um, as it stands which, you know, doesn't say a lot because we're still very much second favourites in this match. But as it stands, we're seven points clear at the top. Target headers back to Johnston. And once again, we're now in a place where we can build from the back and hopefully do that quite comfortably. Chamadeu gets it to Minty. Minty back to Cromie. Cromie finds Ramsey who finds uh, Minty now. And this is an excellent run from Minty, who cuts inside a little bit. And here's Ethan Wheatley with a great chance and makes it 2-0, but he is offside. So it remains 1-0, but we are very much on top in this match at the moment. And we need to try and make that pay and uh, to get our advantage ticking. That's a good ball forward here. Zenketi, a good tackle from Brody Hughes. And now once again, building from the back and... Looking very, very comfortable, aren't we? Here's uh, Ramsey on the ball. Look at the confidence. Here's Minty now. Cuts inside and Minty shoots and it's just over the bar. Could have easily been 3 or 4 nil here. But that was brilliant defensive work from Brody Hughes. Raksaki building from the back. 
Annoyingly, Adingra loses it. Not like him. He has gusto. Radar gets it to Bidstrup. Radar again. And, yeah, just trying to press the ball out of Wolves here. But you can see lots of support back in Claret and Blue here. He has Gusto with a chance over the bar, and that was Wolves' best opportunity so far. But uh, very poor execution in the end. Mmm, Chamadou with a chance to throw it in here. Gets it towards Minty, who gets it back to Chamadou, who cuts inside, and he's going to go himself for the shot. And that was wide. And when you don't take this many chances against a quality side like Wolves, you're going to pay. And here comes Neto into the middle. And this is going to be the moment, I think. Oh, it's off the bar over the over the top and into the crowd it goes. Heading towards half-time now. And it's it's tough to, to think of who we can bring on to shore up this side in the second half. Here's Petrovic with the, the kick forward. And Rocky gets it to Ramsey. Here's Minty. Oh, goes all the way back to Johnston. I thought that was going to be a quick move, but uh, we're building again from the back, which we have shown to be very, very confident with. Here's Target now on the left-hand side. Target's still going. This is a good run. Gets it back to Raksaki now. Raksaki still going. Cuts inside. Is he going to shoot? He does, and that's over the bar as well. Mm. Oh, my God. What happened to the goalkeeper there? <laughs> He went ice skating. Right. Um, let's keep going with the shots. Let's try and keep them confident in the second half. I'm thinking we bring Wheatley off. Sort of 55 minutes or so. We see who we can bring on as his replacement. Because we are going to have to go defensive at some point. Right, here we go, Petrovic with the clearance. And that's a pretty good one. Here's Harvey Barnes on the ball. And this could be a chance for Wolves here. Barnes, back to Langer. Into the middle it goes, and that's a good block. And I think it will be now that we make the change. We're going to bring on Tokla Matti up top. Minty has been very good. We're going to bring off Raksaki and put on Will Hughes. Swap them two round. Will Hughes just a bit more experience about him, a bit more of a steady head than Raksaki. That is whipped into the middle and Johnston comes out and very safe hands there. Now, again, building from the back. This time we don't have Raksaki surging forward. We have got Will Hughes in the team now, though, and there he goes with the header on, and unfortunately, Minty couldn't get there. Here's Oliver. Gets it to Gusto on the right-hand side. Here's Marginan. Oh, it's cleared, and that felt nervy. Oh, and that's wide. It, it, it's the most nervy we've looked in the whole match so far. Right, Brody Hughes... Gets it forward to Target. I'm a bit worried about Target. He has a Dingra though. A Dingra with a chance to thread one through or go alone. Gets it back to Chamadeo. Minty in towards Toklamati. And there was again another big chance in this match. I'd hate to see how many clear cut chances we've had. Right, 70 minutes gone. I think it's time for another change. I think we have to think a bit more defensively now. Um, yeah, I don't fancy 20 minutes of, of defending. But I'm going to put on... I'm going to put Minty on the left-hand side. And we're going to put Mully on. Um, on the right-hand side. Oh, we've got a, a corner here, and it's going to be Aaron Ramsey with the corner. He whips it in, and there's the header. It's off the post. It's off the post. Wow. Yeah. 
Right. Another 10 minutes or so, and then we're going to go defensive. Oh, it's another Wolves chance here. It's another Wolves chance. This is a great chance. Oh, just wide. But that is, I think, our signal to now go defensive. So, Ramsey. Um, I think... I think it makes sense to keep him on. We're going to take target off, though. We're going to put Brody Hughes on the left-hand side. Harry Suter is going to come on. And he's just going to be a central defender. We're going to make sure that uh, Naroki is a central defender as well. And to be honest with you, we're going to turn both of these into fullbacks on defend. And try and hold this lead because this is this would be our biggest three points of the season if we were to grab it. I'm going to go very defensive and I think we're going to do it. It's going to be two consecutive 1-0 victories. Absolutely brilliant. That was such an awesome performance all round. You know, Sam Johnston was awesome. Minty was fantastic. Two man of the match performances from him. And to go away to Wolves and get three points, that's probably going to be our hardest three points of the season. Um, we've got Blackburn Rovers coming up next, who are, of course, second in the division. Um, we, we might well play that today. Um, we've made it 18 unbeaten. I, I think that Blackburn game has just become incredibly important. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, get to that now. And we'll see if we can keep our fifth consecutive clean sheet. But uh, I feel like our good run of form is coming to an end very soon. OK, a couple of changes made for this match. Harry Suda comes in for Mike uh, Naroki, who is uh, unavailable because he is injured. And we have brought back in Jamal Gonzaga for Aaron Ramsey. So let's get into it. It is, um, it is a, a tough one uh, to, to get over the line again. Um, but as I say, I think we've had uh, an incredibly tough start of the season. We seem to be playing teams that are right at the top week in, week out. And yet we're still top of the league. We still haven't been beaten yet. We are um, 15 games into the, the season now. And you've got to think we're, we're, we're going to be playing some of the lower teams soon. So could we virtually get promotion sewn up by you know, January, February time, that would be incredible and give us a lot of time to start thinking about how we go about getting this team ready for the Premier League. Here's Raksaki. He gets it forward to Wheatley. Oh, my God. Oh, how has he missed that? And I think that's probably going to be our number one priority next summer is getting in somebody that can score 20 goals a season in the Premier League. I, I think Wheatley's... Days are uh, not numbered. He's still going to be a very, very useful player, but he doesn't. He needs lots of chances, and he's not going to get that many in the league above. Here's uh, Gonzaga gets it to Raksaki now. Raksaki still on the ball. That's a good ball to towards Chromie. Who it's just undroppable at the moment. Here's uh, Chamadou on the right hand side. He tries to whip it in, but it's a good block from the defender there. Um, and here come Blackburn, sort of out of nowhere here. It looked like our chance, and Chamadio makes a mistake, and it's gone in. Well, that was a comedy of errors, really. That was uh, very interesting. Jorginho scores, but um, we're not going to worry too much about it because I feel it came from our mistakes there rather than Blackburn's brilliance. So we're going to go attack him. We're going to try and get ourselves back into it. Here's a Johnston with the pass. Gets it to Sutar now. Uh, gets it to Chamadeu. Minty. Here's Cromie on the ball. Cromie. Oh, that's a poor pass. And here come Blackburn again on the counter-attack. 2-0. 2-0. Well, well, well. Well. <laughs> it was going to come at some point and maybe it's going to be today that our luck runs out a little bit everybody just letting their heads drop a little bit here target gets it to raksaki back to target here's raksaki again forward to adingra now adingra cuts into the middle here's chamadeo with the shot 
And it's just that sort of stopping in his place. He's not chasing down the ball. Brody Hughes, wide to Chamadeu. He has Minty. Minty now into the middle. It goes a Dingras at the other end and he puts it in and that gets us back to 2-1. We're going to demand more from the team. We need to G them up a little bit here because that was a little bit worrying, those those couple of uh, passages of play. And uh, Chromie, who I've been saying is undroppable. He's uh, not having a great game. Target's not playing fantastic either. Here he is now with a chance to, to whip it in. He has a ding run out. Gets it to uh, Minty, I think that was. Just wide. And all of a sudden, the momentum has swung back towards us. But uh, we are 2-1 down. It would be great if we could get this back to 2-2 at half time. Here's Buckley. He whips it in to the middle. Ooh, it is away and Minty clears and there goes uh, Adingra and now we're on the counter-attack and look at this, we got plenty of Claret and Blue shirts forward but unfortunately not enough and here's Palistri on the right-hand side for Blackburn Rovers crosses it, good tackle from Minty but he has uh, Marcus Alonso I'm assuming or Marcus Antonio Mm, not Mark Salon, so he'll be ancient by this point. But yeah, again, a bit of a mistake from us there. And we're just not not quite at the races, unfortunately. I think it could be a cap five at half time to try and turn this around, or at least a cap four. And Chamadeu is going to be top of that list, which is very unlike him. I think we're missing the, the leadership of... Um, Naroki in there, Raksaki gets it forward to Wheatley now. This would be great if we could get it to 3-2. Feel like we don't deserve it. Minty, very unlucky. Not have scored five or six today. He's been awesome. Right. Is it water bottle worthy? I don't think it is because Blackburner are probably the, the favourites. So Chamadeo's going to come off. We're going to put Brody Hughes at right back. Fieldson's going to come in at centre back. Um, Jamal Gonzaga, he's going to come off for Ramsey and Ethan Wheatley is going to come off for Tokla Matty. And we're going to put him on as a pressing forward on attack. Just to switch it up a bit. Ronan Cromie is going to come off for Will Hughes. And there we go. So four changes into the second half. Sometimes that is what you need to get them going. We'll berate the boys, try and get them g up here. That's cleared. Yeah, and there's just a lot of ball watching going on at the moment. Here's Buckley. Oh, wow. Well, David Washington very nearly getting the goal there. Here's Target. Gets it to Ramsey. Now Fieldson. Target again. Target finds Ramsey. Back to Suter. Ramsey, he has Minty. Minty cuts in a little bit here. That's an excellent ball across to Adingra, who cuts inside, and Adingra shoots. It's a good save. It's a good save. Could have been his second of the game, that. And it's going to be a corner kick here. Ramsey's going to find Minty. Now Minty tries to cross it in. It's back to Will Hughes, end of highlight. But you would say we started this second half, the slightly brighter of the two teams. Mm, 30 minutes to go. Come on, come on, come on. Mm, here's Target with the throw. Finds a Dingra. A Dingra whips it in and, well, Minty was waiting there. Here's Brody Hughes. Brody Hughes still going. Brody Hughes scores. Well, I don't know where that came from. He was on a 6.2. I was considering how do we take him off and get somebody else on. But he's just scored. So 3-2 now. We're still still alive, still kicking. And this is kind of how the QPR match went. And this would be huge. If we got out of this match without losing, that would be incredible. Here's a Dingra. Gets it to Raksaki. This is going to be a chance. It's Aaron Ramsey. Will Hughes, forward to Brody Hughes. Brody Hughes, that's a penalty. It is a penalty. Now, who's going to take it? 
I think it's going to be Will Hughes who steps up. He's missed one. He's scored one this season. This is a huge moment. Steps up and scores. That is a brilliant penalty from Will Hughes. First goal of the season for him. And it's 3-3. Three, three. We're going to head back to positive now on the plate. And we've got 20 minutes to try and grab a winner here. This would be ridiculous. What a turnaround. It's target with the throw. He finds Adingra back to target. Adingra again. He has Rakzaki with a chance to win it. Hits the bar. It's Minty. Minty now. Oh, it's a corner kick. It's a corner kick. And it looks like Jorginho's picked up a knock. That could be him out of the game. I think we've probably got one more game-changing substitution that we could make here. Well, we've got somebody just lying in the middle of the box. Surely we can't play at this point. But they're down to 10 men, briefly. Yeah, he's been taken off, so they're down to 10 men. It's going to be Ramsey here with the corner. We've got to try and take advantage of the fact they're down to 10. Minty into the middle. Nope. It's cleared, but I don't think they've got anybody to... play. No, it looks like they've taken him off, actually. Right. Do we bring on Lord Glatzel? I think we possibly do. I'm thinking... I mean, this is pretty crazy. No, that, that would be a stupid move. I'm thinking something like this. That looks a little bit better. And then have him as an advanced forward. And go for Ramsey as a... Advanced playmaker and support. That looks good. Right, 4-2-4 four, four for the final five minutes, just to see if we can get the ball on Glatzel's boot in the six-yard box and seal a memorable victory. I mean, some memorable comeback nonetheless. And that is a huge point in <laughs> the context of this season. Blackburn were all over us in the first half and we've somehow managed to come back and get a point. It's it's ridiculous how good we have been this season and how resilient we have been, how determined we have been to not be defeated. And that now puts us seven points clear at the top of the table. Uh, we're 10 points clear of Luton in seventh, which is just incredible, isn't it? And, you know, to come back from that and draw is is incredible. 19 games unbeaten now. We go and play Sunderland and uh, Bournemouth coming up. That's going to be uh, quite tricky, I think. I think we'll come back for the festive fixtures against uh, Watford and Preston. Um, next time out. But uh, yeah, absolutely incredible. I mean, we're on course, but uh, this is usually the point in the season where we fall off a little bit. So I'm determined to not let that happen this year. But if you have enjoyed it, give it a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more Football Manager videos. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.